Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today I will be showing you how to use Python to find a file anywhere in the computer and to return the size of that file in kilobytes. Before I start, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so, either by using the subscribe button on my homepage or by clicking the link that will be appearing in the bottom right corner of this video. Let's get started. I will be using the OS module to both get the file path and the size of the file. So the first thing we need to do is import the OS module by typing in import space OS. Then what we need to do is get the file path and return the size of a file that we have selected. And we can do that in one line by typing in os.path.getSize. And then in brackets and in quotation marks, we have the file path and the file name, including the extension. And how the easiest way I find to get that is to go to your file path or file, go to your directory where the file is listed. And you go to the top bit here and I copy and then paste it in here. One thing you ought to be careful of is that when you paste it, there'll be backslashes appearing, whereas in Python, these backslashes need to be forward slashes. So the first thing you need to do is replace the backslashes with forward slashes. And let me do that with you here. Just so let you know, just do that. So let's go through replacing them one by one. The next thing you need to do is get the file name, including the extension. And the easiest way I find of doing that is to go back to where the file is stored. In this case, it's one of my previous tutorials. And you can just copy and click on rename and just copy and paste the name in. And that will give us both the file path and the file name, including the extension. If you don't get the extension in the file name, you can always go to properties and then you can copy and paste from there. So if I equate that to file size bytes, everywhere I reference it later on will give me the size of the file specified in this file path in bytes. So if we print that out, we should get the size of the file in bytes. And if I go to my output on the my right, my bottom right, we see here that we have a number here appearing in our output, which represent, represents the size of the file in bytes. The next thing we need to do is convert bytes to kilobytes. And one thing you have to remember is that hard drives and memory are measured in powers of two. This means that it's not a standard 1000 bytes equals one kilobytes. It's actually 1024 bytes equals one kilobyte. This is also the reason why you have memory sticks that are you know, 16 megabytes, 32 megabytes, 512 megabytes, 256, and so on and so forth. It's because memory and hard drives are stored and measured in powers of two. So how we convert bytes to kilobytes is we divide file size bytes by 1024, and I've equated that to file size kilobytes. So if we now print file size kilobytes, we will see uh, our memory, our file size in kilobytes. So our file size is 78,867.815 kilobytes. And if we go to our location in the file, we can see here that our size is 78,868 kilobytes, which is what this number is rounded up. So it was a short tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And feel free to watch this over and over again just to make sure that you um, understand what's going on. Thank you very much for watching.